working on this. How's everybody doing? Cleaning out the air filter. Josh was greasing a minute ago. He's on there somewhere on the other side. But I had, I'm missing, uh, you can see I'm going there. It's not the end of the world, focus for me. And then I have one missing there. And you can tell which one I changed. So I'll probably change that one too. A couple of them got knocked off. Oh, there's one missed, and that's the one. And then, uh, this little, we got nicked a little bit, so. We're looking good, I just had some time. This is kind of what goes on behind the scenes after everybody's, we're done loading trucks, everybody's working on something, so. Um, woods up here, bark pile's gone. Someone had the question I did, what do we do with the bark? We spread it out throughout the woods. And uh, it gives nutrients to the soil. So that's what happens to the bark. Yes, you can grind it up to get the burn plant. Can you get rich off it? No. Can you make money off it? In the right situation, you can, we can. So it's different everywhere. I cut that pile of logs today. I heard this morning a log truck cleaned me up last night. So it was a good day. We got some wood out. Could have did more. We don't have any trucks, it's our problem. So we did all aspen today and then that's getting switched over to hardwood in the morning. So we'll be able to, we're all ready to go. Everything's cleaned up and uh, just smoke some timber out. We had one, the last comment on the channel, a uh, gentleman talked about heating up that nut to get that nut off there. Okay, and he, that thing that you put around them to heat them up. Yeah, you can, we could have heated that nut up and got the nut off there, but the thing with that is once you heat it, you, it's junk anyways. So we don't heat them and get them off and reuse them. Um, if you heat it to get the nut off, you simply replace the stud anyway. So it's junk either way, it's junk. So therefore, by torching it off, it doesn't hurt. It's just a quicker way of doing it rather than try to heat it and zip it off more, just get it off. So we uh, just zipped her off. What's going on big time? So therefore, um, it's junk either way. But them studs we have at the shop, them all get replaced. Um, get some pipe wrenches and stuff, get them out of the uh, clamp, and then you uh, put some thread lock on her and zip them back in. It's a fine, th it's a fine thread in the clamp. In a, or no, I'm sorry, it's a coarse thread in the clamp, fine threaded nut coming out for your knives. So. That's kind of how that worked. That was a question comment somebody had was, what about that? Well, she's junk either way. You, you, when you can't heat stuff to get it out, once you start doing that, um, you hear bad stories of what happens in there because stuff starts coming out and stuff starts flying all over at crazy amount of speeds. So I've heard, I've heard stories of clamps coming out of there and going through semi trucks. So um, not cool. Therefore, when you heat it, she's junk. So we just cut her off. So that was the last comment on the channel. The gentleman asked that question, just heat it. Yep, I could have. But it's too fine of stuff going on in there. Stuff's going too fast. Chip's got to be perfect. And we don't want anything to come loose. I was surprised that knife didn't come out as it was, but um, thank goodness it didn't. But yeah, she got greased today. The slasher did. Got her cleaned up, looked her all over, everything's still looking fine as wine, let me tell you. See, look at we got just, oh yeah, the grease. But no, change a couple of these out and they'll be good to go. We got time. And then uh, call her a day. Walk it out here. Now everybody disappears. No, we're all doing something. Hopefully. Cabin filter. Tooth. 